Hey guys, this is Romeo coming at you with another short video. I'm going to be showing you what is included on Volume 3 Base Box. Okay guys, uh, not in any particular order, but look at this right here. Let's see. Make sure I've got them all the right way. Okay, so we'll go from oldest to newest. Okay, we got 1982 Donruss out of a authenticated, sealed authenticated box. You are looking for rookies of, here's the list right here by the way. So you're looking for Don, see, key rookies, Cal Ripken Jr., Lee Smith, there's Dave Stewart, Chili Davis, and Kent Herbeck. Next up we have 1987 Tops. 1987 tops. I know there's some of you that aren't a big fan of wax and all that. These are great. This comes from another sealed box. You can see a little bit of card on there. That you can. There's the gum right there. See. Uh, hopefully that's not a great player right there. Um. I don't know why it's in the front for that. <laughs> uh, well, uh, it was told that to me, or it was sold to me as authenticated. So hopefully there's all the good cards on there. But anyways, on that, there is Barry Bonds. Got Barry Bonds rookie, Barry Larkin rookie, Bo Jackson rookie. Another notable cards or key cards on there is the Jose Canseco All-Rookie Cup. You got a James Moyer rookie. And then you have, let's see, where's our Jamie Moyer, Rafael Palmero, and Mark McGuire. All right. I know Mark McGuire is kind of his rookie and kind of not. His uh, rookie's on the, I think... I think it's 85, maybe that's why. I don't remember for the 85, 86 uh, USA one. That's why this one isn't considered a rookie, even though I think it has a rookie run there or something. But anyways, next up is 89 Donruss. You guys know what big card you're looking for on there. Um, the 89 Donruss, the King Griffey Jr. And then you have Randy Johnson, got Craig Biggio, John Smaltz, Gary Sheffield, Kurt Schilling, and then other notable rookies on there, Sandy Elmar Jr., Don Tabisha, and Brady Anderson. I know those don't have that much of value, but they were good players back in their days. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., though, is fetching up to like $500 right now for a PSA 10. Uh, but it is not, uh, what is that, 300 and some is the lowest right now that it's going for just on a PSA 10 for that. That is why this is probably the biggest rookie chase on here i think i don't know for me at least and then a lot of these other ones too barry um bo jackson and barry bonds if you get a piece at psa 10 on those rookie cards in 1987 those actually bring some value to 150 m guess and somewhere around there cal rookie jr same thing of course psa 10 lee smith as well because they are hall of famers maybe dave stewart and chili davis some of those other rookies don't have the value that those guys do but those actually if you can get a psa 10 they are pretty good Oh, can you turn that down a little bit, please? Um, the next up, let's see. So we got these three out of the way. Is that? We got this one out of the way. Okay, so there you go. I think I had another pack mixed in there. So those three. Next up is 2015 Tops Update. Tops Update. You guys probably know the key rookie on that one, basically. The, so 2000 top. Uh, the key rookies are Francisco Lindor. You got a Chris Bryant rookie debut. Not his actual rookie. I don't believe his actual rookie's on here. Just his rookie debut. Got Carlos Correa. It's another really good one. Joey Gallo. Giovanni Urshela. I mean, he, he produced really well last year. Noah Syndergaard is another really good one. Byron Buxton. Jock Peterson. I, I think he, he might have both rookie debut and rookie, but... I'll, I, I don't remember exactly, so I just put the rookie debut on there for now. You got Tommy Pham as well. Okay, next up, 2017 Top Series 1. You got most of the top rookies on there. The only one that is missing off of there from the key rookies, at least. Well, I guess you can say two of them. Uh, you got uh, Matt Olson on there as well, but or Matt, Matt Chapman. I think Matt... I don't remember if Matt Olson might be in here or Matt, me on the other one, but anyways, uh, you want... Um, Cody Bellinger is the only one that's really not in here for the bigger rookies. 
But um, the key rookies, you still have Aaron Judge. You got Alex Regman. You got Andrew Benatendi. Had a down year last year, but hopefully he can bounce back up as he was one of those top rookies last time, like top three. Um, Juan Moncada is also on there. Tyler Glass now. Dansby Swanson. Josh Bell. And then you got David Dahl. No, he's not as big as name, but he had an all-stars uh, season last year. Uh, let's see. Number... So next up, we have... 2018 Heritage, or not Heritage, uh, did I, hopefully I didn't put a, oh, I think I put Heritage on there, sorry guys, it's not Heritage, it's a mistake, it's, uh, it should be, um, Archives, sorry, I don't know why I put Heritage on there, Archives, sorry, uh, anyways, you still have basically all the same rookies on there you guys can get lucky and pull ronald acuna jr juan soto glaber torres shohei otani rafael devers walker bueller victor robles miguel and and i mean there's just so many rookies on this as well but plus if you guys see on there some of the other cards that you can find on there are the sandlot movie cards and you can also find autographs of um uh, the sandlot ones in here i have i actually got one of them uh Wendy, I think I can't remember when Wendy Peppercorn um, autograph off of one of these is pretty cool. So there's two autographs in this guaranteed. There's one autograph or relic or what is that on the 2015? Those are the first ones. 2017, same thing. Um, you can't find any of the older ones because they didn't used to do that. Next up, let's see, it's 2018 Heritage Miners. The key prospects to look for there's just so many prospects in here guys really it's uh just because you don't really have i think on the 2019 you have um wander franco and you got julio rodriguez but you still have on these ones you have um fernando tatis jr vlad jr you have pete alonso you got Eloy jimenez you have uh, jordan alvarez bo bichette Tim Tebow's in here as well. Keston Hira. And, and you have, you know, Nick Zenzel. You have all these other prospects that are in there as well. There's just a ton of good uh, cards you can get there or players you can get on that. Next up, we have 2019 Topps Heritage High Number. So on this, you guys know what you're looking for, basically. We'll say the top five because last year was basically top four, but... Um, I think Keston Hira moved up somewhat on that. So you have Eloy Jimenez, you have Keston Hira, you got Vladimir Guerrero Jr., you got Fernando Tati Jr., Pete Alonso, and you can get action cards from there. You can get a uh, missing name, I think, or, or name variations, I think, on the team name variations. You have, uh, what's the other big one? You got air cards that you can get off of there. You got... Um, Chrome cards, you got refractor cards you can get from all those guys. You got autographs you can get from them. There is just a ton of stuff you can get off there. And one of my favorite, the nickname too. You can get one of those nicknames. If you get like any of those parallels on there, those are just huge cards. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff on this as well that you can get. I do like Heritage quite a bit. All right, next up we have 2020 Series 1. You guys probably... You might be a little bit tired of it. You know, there's not much out there for 2020, and I wanted to add on there. Uh, Gypsy Queen. Oh, my goodness. Gypsy Queen is out. Like, it's outrageous how much the prices have climbed up. I went, I, I was going to put that on here, and I got one hobby box, 150. And then I probably should have gotten both of them, but I didn't have enough at the time, I believe. And I went back following week. $190 somewhere like that for a hobby box for this year. It's not even high end. It's uh, better. I think it's better than these, better than the Heritage, but it's just, I mean, $190 is just ridiculous. But, anyways, you still have a ton of good rookies on this show. So, you have your three rookies Jordan Alvarez, Bo Michette, Gavin Luxter, Aristides Aquino, uh, Brendan McKay, Jesus Lazardo, Dustin May, Nico Horner, Kyle Lewis, AJ Puck. There's just a lot of great rookies on here as well. Uh, I know it's been rough on baseball this year because they haven't been able to play and prove themselves to see which one, you know, is better or 
actually lives up to their potential. But, I mean, like I said, they have potential. I mean, those can be some great rookie cards later on down the future. I mean, that I think Jordan Alvarez, Boba Shett, Gavin Lux right now are the ones that are the top ones that can bring a little bit of value, especially if you get them rated and stuff. Um, and then you can find, of course, autographs, parallels. So you got, like, the gold. You got the um, rainbow foil. You got the vintage cardstock and so on and so on. Um, you even have the chance to get one of those. I mean, it's super hard to get one of those. The Celebration of the Decades, the ticket. Those things are, I mean, what are they? 25 in the, all of the, uh, over millions of cards. Okay, so last but not least, you got 2020 Heritage. Um, the only thing that sucks about this, their rookie cards are not by themselves unless you actually get lucky and you get an action variation. You get, um, I don't know if they have air cards of them as well that can be oh actually wait yeah they do have air cards that you can actually get they're just like that action one so you got those top rookies basically same way but this one i mean the, i think the best card for the rookies at least jordan alvarez and aristides aquino then the second one's probably gavin lux and dustin may combined and the third one probably be the jesus lazardo and aj puck because they're both on the same card then you have Bo Bichette, you got nico horner you got kyle lewis you got Brendan McKay that have rookie cards on here as well. Like I said, you can look for autographs. You can look for action cards. You can get, um, where are the other ones? Uh, I can't remember. I think they're Ninja Slash. But you can get, since these are black border, like others, you can get black border on some. You can get that white border. The white border is really neat. It looks really cool. You can get, if you get it, like a white refractor border, uh, white refractor, yeah. Parallel, those are things are awesome, and those things are really cool. I got one, uh, but I just got a refractor of Mike Trout off of a, one of these guys. It's pretty nice. Um, but anyways, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff on there. So there you have it, guys. Those are your 10 main packs that will be included in every base box. And this month, since I wasn't able to give you guys the pack lineup that I did last year, there will be an actual 12th pack on there i'm not going to tell you right now which one it is that will be a surprise when you guys get your boxes uh but yeah there is a 12th pack included in all of them besides some bonus packs that i'll end up throwing in there one out of every one out of every eight since there's already 12 packs in there i'm probably one out of every eight packs around there will have an extra pack oh yeah guys and i forgot um one of the other things as well since I wasn't able to give you guys the lineup that I gave you last month. I, I'm, although last month or last volume was um, also, or there were also uh, retail. This one is not retail. This is all hobby. The only ones that will be included as retail would be any bonus packs that you get on there. Could be retail. Um, but other than that, yeah. Um, they're all hobby packs and you get chances except, except those older cards you get chances at autos you get chances of relics and they might not be the biggest chances but you know it just takes one card one card for the whole box to make your day I mean I've had that happen and uh, I wish you guys all luck thank you for watching and I will leave down on the description below or you can go on the Facebook page and my gmail or my email so you guys can actually contact me directly if you want to purchase one of these i do have only like 24 maybe 23 i have to um count them to see what i have left i think it's like 20 we'll say like 23 just to be sure i only have like 23 there was 36 but i only i am down to like 23 boxes guys so you bet guys if you guys want one you guys about to hop on that train and get one before they run out okay guys till next time we'll see you guys bye